We all make little blunders at work, and usually, it's not that big of a deal. But for those who read and report the news, the public nature of their screw-ups can not only result in widespread internet mockery, it can sometimes earn them a pink slip, as fans of Anchorman know all too well. From the entire Channel 4 News team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go f*** yourself, San Diego. Doesn't just happen in the movies, though. Here's a look at some bloopers that got these real-life reporters fired. Pensive performance. If you've ever been caught goofing off at work, daydreaming or picking your nose or whatever, you probably just got treated to the gentle suggestion that you remove your head from your rectum and carry on with your job. Not so for poor Australian newscaster Natasha Exelby, who was fired after going to her happy place and not coming back until the cameras were already rolling. Melanie Vukovic, ABC News, Mount Sylvia. Now to sport with Meredith Sheehan. News director Gavin Morris later backtracked on the anchor's dismissal, saying Exelby was just being taken off the air but not actually let go. For her part, Exelby sent out a tweet blaming her mesmerizing pen. How do you measure success? Is there anything that matters more to a professional athlete than winning the playoffs? Not according to Comcast Sportsnet reporter Susanna Collins, who insisted that the Chicago Blackhawks were totally focused on the postseason despite some serious distractions. All season long, they have been saying that this is the season that matters. And despite the fact that they've had such a tremendous amount of sex during the during of success during the regular season. Three days later, Collins was fired, supposedly for unrelated reasons. But it was pretty obvious to everyone that her bosses weren't comfortable discussing Patrick Kane's love life. When in Rome? Most on-air mistakes are simple slips of the tongue. But one reader for India's state media agency, Doordarshan, had a much larger problem. While reporting on the visit of Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2014, she misinterpreted his name and read them as Roman numerals. As far as international incidents goes, this would seem pretty minor, but it was still enough to get her fired, even though plenty of other news anchors around the globe have struggled to figure out his name too. Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping arrivé à. Cette visite du président Xi Jinping, Jinping est importante à plus d'un titre. Président Xi Jinping, le président Xi Jinping. Celebrating an assassin. When Lebanese politician Walid Aidu was assassinated in Beirut in 2007, not everybody was torn up about it. Least of all, national broadcasting network anchor Sausan Darwish. The anchor woman then says. So why did it take them so long to kill him? <laughs> she cracks up laughing and her colleague joins in. Then she doubled down by suggesting some new targets. Then the anchor says in reference to anti-Syrian parliament member Ahmed Fatfat, <laughs> Fatfat should be next. I'm counting them down. Viewers were outraged and Darwish was immediately fired for three months. Then NBN reinstated her and she issued an on-air apology. Here's hoping she doesn't try to incite any future assassinations. Farewell, Foulmouth. As the late local news broadcast wound down on KSN in Wichita, Kansas on Saturday night in December 2013, anchor Justin Kramer signed off with a version of the same closing tag that pretty much every late night news anchor uses. The end of broadcast music was playing, the cameras had cut away to a lovely view of the city at night, and viewers were just settling in for Saturday Night Live. But then he pulled a move straight out of Ron Burgundy's playbook. Out of here. <gasps> oh, great Odin's Raven! Kramer lost his job two days after the Saturday night broadcast, getting the news first thing Monday morning. For his part, he took the firing in stride, saying, I did something extraordinarily unprofessional. It's something that's drilled into you from the minute you start in this business to always consider the microphones hot. Tony, did I just curse? Are you kidding me? I mean, shoot! Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.